Okay, today we're going to be using the U-Activate to test the power side voltage drop on a relay. So if we look at our wiring diagram here on this 2011 Chevrolet Corvette, we're going to test the fuel pump power supply circuit. Okay, so we've identified our relay and if we pull the relay out, we'll notice it's an ISO 280 socket. Okay, and so we have the appropriate adapter here. Uh, that comes with the AES Wave kit. And the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to identify which is Terminal 30. And you can do that by turning on the LED test light and going in the up position, okay? And we're going to insert the relay. And 87 turns red, that tells us that we have it wired correctly. Now, for some reason, you get it in backwards, which it can be inserted backwards, this will be green. This is important to note because we need to be testing at terminal 30. 30 is not the circuit that is powered up right now. So we need to come back, flip it around. Now we're set. So we'll turn that off. Now measuring the voltage drop on the power supply is very important because you could have an anomaly there that could be leading to the problem that you're dealing with. So being able to quickly measure the voltage drop on the power supply is extremely important. And so with the U-Activate device, we have our three uh, four millimeter test uh, sockets here. We're gonna use the center one, which is terminal 30. We're gonna insert our voltmeter lead, but we're also gonna measure with the scope, okay? And I've got channel A here from my Pico scope. I'm gonna insert that here as well. You can see on the meter here, we're at 12.44. All right, we're going to turn this on. We would note that voltage. Turn this on. That's going to run the pump. It's dropping it down to about 12 volts, okay? But keep in mind that the vehicle isn't running, so we're not really maintaining the voltage. We're actually putting a load on the battery. The battery is dropping the voltage a little bit. So this is one way to test. However, what we could do is do a voltage drop so we would measure the delta between the B plus. So we're gonna roll this over. We're gonna insert this, connect this on B plus here, okay? Then we'll open this back up, all right? Then we're gonna go ahead and turn on our U-Activate unit. And we can see that we're using about 159 millivolts across that circuit, so from B plus, through this feed here, this terminal feed, across the circuit box here, whatever you know, power bus is, to terminal 30, that would be an acceptable load. If you saw a volt or two volts or, or higher, then you definitely have a problem on the power supply circuit. Let's look at the scope and take a look and see what we can get from that, okay? So I'm gonna place my negative lead back on the battery negative. We're gonna come over here to the scope and we're gonna run it. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn on the U-Activate unit. I'll turn it off. Stop the scope. We can zoom in a little bit here. And we can get our cursors to measure. So we'll go in the center of that. Find the middle of that. And we're showing about 342 millivolts. So let's look at the voltage drop side. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my lead here back to B plus. Okay. And then we'll hit run on the scope. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the U-Activate unit, turn it off, stop the scope, zoom in. Take a measurement, find the center, find the center there, and you can see we're showing about 185 millivolts here. So that's approximately what the, the DMM showed us as well. So anyhow, this is how you can quickly test using the U-Activate unit. Now, in subsequent videos, we're going to also incorporate amperage testing, okay? That'll be in the next video. And in our final video, we're gonna be doing a measurement of the voltage being applied to the fuel pump over the current being used for you power users out there using the scope. So stay tuned 
and thanks for watching. You activate the Ultimate Relay Circuit Test Assistant.